Hello friends, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to download and install Epson L3216 printer driver in a Windows 10 PC or laptop. It is a very easy and simple process. So let's do the our video. First, we check our machine is 32 bit or 64 bit. That is very easy and simple. Go to the, this PC, right click on this PC, click on the properties. In properties, here we find system type. If system type is 32 bit, that means that machine is 32 bit operating system machine. If system type is 64 bit, that means that machine is 64 bit operating system machine. This machine is 64 bit operating system machine. Close it. Next step is download the driver. That is very easy. Go to the any web browser that you want. I am going to the Google Chrome. And in search type download Epson L3216 printer driver and hit enter key on your keyboard. First link in the search is the Epson. Open the first link. Here we find official website of the Epson. Here we find our printer name Epson L3216 and scroll down and here we find operating system. If it's not to take your operating system right and your bit right Windows 10 then your bit. My bit is Windows 10. My operating system is Windows 10 and bit is 64 bit. It is right. If it's not right, then go to the here and select Windows 10 64 bit, Windows 10 32 bit, if 32 bit. My machine is Windows 10 64 bit. So I go to the Windows 10 64 bit. And after that, here we find go button, click on go button. It's refresh your drivers and new drivers is appear on your web page. Here scroll down and here we find drivers. Expand this drivers button, expand this drivers button, click on the plus button. Here we find two drivers. First is the scanner driver and it is a series of L3210. It supports the driver of our printer L3216. Here we find our printer driver. Same thing. Here is the printer driver. First we download the, our scanner driver. Here is the, our scanner driver. Go to the here download and click on the download or right click on it and click on open link in new window. New tab. Click at here and new website is open of Ipsan. Click on the accept and our download is started at here. It's a few seconds. So wait for a few seconds to download to complete. Our download is now completed. Go to the download and here we find show in a folder. Click on show in a folder. Minimize the our website and drag this setup file to desktop. Close it. Close the our folder and next step is in download the our printer driver. Go to our web browser once again. Close it. Go to the main web page of the our Ipsen printer. Scroll down and go to the here drivers. Expand drivers. Here you find our printer driver. Go to the download. Click on the download. It's redirected you to the another page. Click on the accept. Our download is started at here. It's take few seconds. Wait for few seconds to download to complete. Wait for a few seconds. Our download is completed. Go to the downloads. Show in a folder. Minimize the our web browser, drag this setup file to desktop, close it. Here is the our printer driver, here is the our scanner driver and this printer driver is actually zip file and we are going to unzip this zip file. That is very easy and simple in Windows 10. First go to the our printer driver, right click on it, click on the extract files, click on the OK. It's extract our file, new folder is created on the desktop, double click on it. Double click on it, double click on it. Here we find our drivers and we are going to install these drivers manually. That is very easy and simple. First close the our folder. First we go to the start, go to the start and type printers and scanners. Click on the printers and scanners. In a printers and scanner at the top we find add a printer and scanner. Here we find add a printer or scanner. Click at here. Wait for a few seconds and new option is pop up in a few seconds. Wait for a few seconds. New option is the printer that I want isn't listed. Click on the printer that I want isn't listed. Minimize or close it. Go to here add a printer. In add a printer we find many options. Go to the last option. Add a local printer or network printer with manual settings. Select the last option. Click on the next. Here we find existing port. It is a very IMP part of the installation. Here go to the here. 
and if you find any usb port usb 001 002 003 004 usb 004 005 any usb port select usb port in this case i am selecting usb 001 click on the next click on the have a digs go to the browse go to the desktop here you find our newly extracted folder double click on it double click on it double click on it here we find three or four files select any file that you like all are the our printer driver select any file click on the open click on the ok here we find ipson l3210 series select that this is the series of the, our printer name l3216 select this series click on the next here give any name that you like i give the ipson l3216 give any name that you want click on the next it's installing our printer and it's take few seconds or few minutes so be patient and wait for a few seconds our printer is now installed if you want to share this printer then click on share this printer on network last option i don't want to share so i select first option to not share this printer click on the next if you want to print a test page then click on a printer test page or click on a finish Next option is install our scanner driver. That is also very easy and simple. Here we find our scanner driver. Double click on it or right click on it. Click on the run as an administrator. Click on run as an administrator. Click on the yes. It's unzip our folders or the files and installation process is started. Click on the next. Accept the terms and conditions. Click on the next. Wait for a few seconds. Our installation is started and it's take one less than one minute. Wait for a few seconds. Our scanner is also installed. Click on the finish. Next step is check our printer properly installed or not. Go to the start. Type printers and scanners. Click on the printers and scanners. In a printers and scanner, if you find Ipson L3216, that means our printer is properly installed and work 110% on our windows 10 pc or laptop so guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you guys